In the last video, we showed you the advantages of using polymorphism with an interface. And in this video, what we're going to show you is how we can take three classes, paper, aluminum, and plastic, and use the recycle interface to connect them together. And then by connecting them together, we can write far more efficient code and demonstrate the value of polymorphism. At the top here, you see that I have interface recycle, and it has the two humble methods, is recyclable and recycle. Every class is going to have to decide how it implements these methods, but here are the abstract ideas is recyclable and recycle. Notice they have semicolons at the end of the method headings. So the first class that is going to use the recycle interface is the paper class. It's connected to the recycle interface by using the word implements. When implement is used, paper realizes the interface recycle. As you can see down here, I have used both of the methods inside the recycle interface, is recyclable and recycle. I've also added a constructor that sets what num is. And what the instance variable num is, is it tells whether a paper is recyclable or not. I kind of wanted to give an idea of, well, what if a paper has too much wax in it or has a bunch of grease on it and it couldn't be recycled? We'll know when the object is created whether it can be recycled or not. So let's see how this particular class would implement the isRecyclable method. So if num is not equal to 1, we know that the paper is not recyclable. So we'll tell the user that. We'll say system.out.println the paper is not recyclable. Okay, and then we're going to return true only if num is 1. So we'll say num equals equals 1. And then the recycle method is a rather simple implementation. All it says when you call it is the paper has been recycled. Aluminum is going to be very similar. It's going to implement the recycle interface. Now, there are no numbers associated with is recyclable. It's just going to be all aluminum cans are recyclable. Does that mean that we don't have to implement the is recyclable method from the recycle interface? Well, no, we still have to. But in the implementation, we're just going to return true. So it's always true that items are recyclable. And then second here, we have the recycle method. And it's doing the exact same thing that the paper is, except for it's saying the aluminum can has been recycled. And then finally, we have the plastic class, which I kind of kicked up a notch. And I said, OK, here are the numbers that are recyclable. Here are the numbers that we do not recycle. We would have to implement the is recyclable method differently from the previous two. So let's go ahead and implement this. If num is not equal to 2 and num is not equal to 5 and num is not equal to 7, well, then it just simply cannot be recycled. So we'll say system dot out dot print line and we're going to say the plastic bottle is not recyclable all right and then also we would say if num is two or num is five or num is seven then it is recyclable. And then we implement this one the, much the same as we did the other ones, except for we're saying the plastic bottle instead of the aluminum can or the paper. And then finally, I have the class trash. I didn't do anything inside of it, but it's just to indicate, OK, I don't want this to be recycled because it's not even part of the recyclable interface. We go to the top of the program, and I have created three paper objects. The first one is recyclable and the last one is recyclable, but the second one is not because it has a two instead of a one. All aluminum cans are recyclable, so there are no numbers inside of there. And then three plastic bottles. The first and the last are recyclable, but this one is not because it is not in the correct number. And then finally, I have two trash objects that will not be recyclable. And then I create an array list of objects, throw all of those objects into my array list, and I start recycling them. You can see that I have to say, okay, I'm going to get the first item inside of the array list and test, is it paper? 
If it is paper, I'm, I'm going to class cast it as paper, and then I'm going to test if it's recyclable. Either it's going to be a one or, or a two, and then if it is recyclable, I'll recycle it. Same thing with aluminum, same thing with plastic. Now you can see how inefficient this is because you keep on adding more and more and more classes. Now you say, okay, maybe having three classes there, that's not so bad. Well, what happens when you have five classes? You add cardboard and glass to the mix and they too implement the recycle interface. You're having to add more and more and every time a new class implements or uses the recycle interface, you're having to go back in your code and add more and more examples to your code. It does does work as you'll see let's compile and run it and we can see that the first paper was recycled the second wasn't the third was recycled so on and so forth so it does recycle correctly but there's a better way to do it if we come down right here and let's go through the array list again so we'll say for int i equals zero i is less than cycle dot size i plus plus now because all of the items implement or realize the recycle interface what i can do is i can say if it's a recyclable object i'm going to recycle it so i say if cycle dot get i is an instance of recycle the interface, then I can do the exact same thing that I was doing earlier. I can class cast the item into a recyclable item and then I can recycle it. And I would do that by saying recycle item equals class cast recycle cycle dot get I. So then what we need to say is if the item is recyclable, then we want to recycle the item. Otherwise, if it's not a recyclable item, we're just going to say this item is not recyclable. And you see how short this code is, but this code is using polymorphism. It's saying, I'm not referring to these as the individual paper, plastic, or aluminum. I'm going to refer to them as recycle items. And then at runtime, I'm going to decide, is this paper, is this plastic, is this aluminum? And so hopefully you can see the enormous benefits of using polymorphism here. And we get the exact same results as before, except for this time, we've written considerably less code. And you can also see, if I add two more classes like glass and cardboard, and they realize the recycle interface, you wouldn't have to go in and change your code again and say, if this is an instance of cardboard or if this is an instance of glass, recycle is kind of a catch-all for it. In this second program, I've done almost exactly the same thing. And I want you to note that you can, instead of referring to an object by its class name, you can refer to it by its interface name. You can't say the interface name here because there is no constructor for the interface, but you can refer it to here. And this is advantageous if you want to use aluminum instead of plastic or paper. You could change these to any class that realizes the recycle interface. In this one, what I want to do is instead of saying, okay, I'm going to put all objects instead of inside of my array list, I'm going to put all recyclable items inside of there. Now, I can't add my two trash items, but if this array list is only holding recyclable items, look how easy the code can become. I don't even need to check, is it recycle? Because I know that it is. I don't need to class cast it. All I have to do is say, take this right here, put it in place of item, and then recycle that item. And there would be no reason to say this item is not recyclable. It would have to go to the class and say whether um, it's a greasy paper or um, it's not the correct bottle or something like that. So we, again, minimize our code and we use polymorphism here because the array list is not exclusively holding items of the paper or aluminum or plastic class. It can hold anything that is recyclable or realizes the recycle interface. And when we run this, 
we can see that we get the exact same result. Polymorphism is an extremely powerful tool that enables the user to say, hey, I don't care what type of item this is, as long as it is a recyclable item. And then later, the computer can figure out what type of recyclable item it is. It eliminates the use for bunches of lines of code, but it also is a smart way to sort and hold items.